I think the transition from wires to seeds has been um, life changing, practice changing certainly um, for us and I hope for the patients as well. Um, patients don't often have the ability to compare having had both wire and a seed thereafter. However, um, I think it's, it's a much better experience for them and certainly for us it gives us the ability to find the lesion with um, exceedingly more accuracy. The main advantages of Molly compared to the radioactive seed are uh, number one for the surgeon in the operating room. The technology um, allows us to see how far away the wand is from the actual seed. So we know if we're three centimeters away from the Molly seed and it actually shows up on the monitor. So it lets us be even more accurate with our um, with our lumpectomies. And then uh, secondly, um, our radiation safety department is, of course, very concerned about, you know, losing seeds and losing their radioactive um, license, which is, of course, a big deal because we don't want to do that. So there's a lot of tracking of the seed. Um, the nurses have to fill in uh, forms in the OR and uh, they don't always love that. Um, so with the Molly seed, we won't have to do that. And so it will make the OR more streamlined in that regard as well. Molly is kind of the next step after radioactive seeds. Um, you don't have to uh, track the seeds. I mean, they have to be tracked, but we're not worrying about radiation safety. That's, a, that's an important point for us. Um, really, I would say it's the next step. The other important part is that um, you, don't, the, you can use your regular OR instruments. Uh, they don't need to be plastic or anything like that. We use, use our usual metal instruments and Molly works perfectly well. So I would just say Molly is the kind of the next step. Moving to Molly from the uh, radioactive seed localization is, as we mentioned, really just improving and it's the next step uh, in preoperative localization. We get all the benefits of moving away from the wire to a seed-based localization, um, plus the lack of um, radiation involved. And so, as Lisa mentioned, this is huge in terms of the administrative factor and infrastructure required in, in our um, department uh, with implementing a radiation-based seed. So, um, taking that next step and uh, moving away from a, a radiation-based procedure is, is a huge thing for us. Um, and not only for the admin part and infrastructure part, but also in terms of following um, principles of uh, LARA, so as low as reasonably achievable uh, radiation doses to anyone involved. So to the patient, to the um, staff in our department, to the radiologist, to the, the surgical team. Um, so removing that uh, is, is also a, a great step forward. So for all those reasons, all the benefits of seed-based plus lack of radiation, we are hugely supportive. Um, we think this is, is a great, great move and are really excited about it.